Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Varun Gandhi and thank you for tuning in to the Gandhi TV. This is your one-stop shop to elevate your consciousness. So wonderful to be here guys. Love and abundance to you. Today, we're going to talk about this question that I received a couple weeks ago. How do we live in such a confused world? Wow, that's such a good question. You know, there's so much going on around us that's in conflict with each other. And it gives us conflicting messages. So we're getting confused. We're like, which side to believe? The government is selling one thing, the politicians are saying another. What do you, who do you believe? Republicans are saying one thing, the Democrats are saying another. The medical industry is saying one thing, the pharmaceutical industry is saying another, the health industry has a third voice, and then you get this veganism movement. And now who do you listen to? And when you go to the doctor's clinic, they give you one advice, but when you go back home and your mom gives you another advice, now who do you listen to? It's confusing. You go to church or your religious institution and they'll tell you one message. You go to school, university, and they'll give you another message. And a lot of the times they're conflicting. Who do you listen to? I understand there's so much conflict, there's so much confusion outside of us. I get it. I understand that. But what I want to point out here is, again, going back to one of my previous episodes, there is an objective reality, which is all that I just mentioned. And that's outside of you. And then there is your subjective experience, which is how do you show up in your objective reality? What state are you in? This is the contents of your consciousness. Everything that exists within your consciousness consists of the state that you're currently in. So if you're showing up from a state of confusion, then no matter what this external reality, reality of yours looks like, so even if it's complete bliss or peace or war, you're always going to have the same state because that's how you are showing up into your objective reality. You know, there is uh, a thought movement taking this one step further, saying that that is all that really exists, your subjective experience. Because your objective reality is always illuminated within your consciousness, within your mind, body, spirit system. Actually, I want to switch that spirit mind body system the spirit it comes first right we are the spirit so spirit mind body system and that's all that exists is everything inside of us no matter what the external reality looks like our subjective experience depends on our state and our experience in general when we show up into our objective reality will depend on our state on our mindset the condition of our heart how much we love ourselves how much we hate ourselves all of these things will show up into your objective reality because it is a part of you it's a part of this system and it operates the system a particular way these are your sets of beliefs that you've been conditioned to think in a certain way that has created a certain habits that now these habits govern your life and you're living your life out of these habits. So confusion then actually becomes a habit that we have been living out of for so long now that it, everything around us just appears to be confused or appears to be confusing us even more. All we see are signs of confusion because we're so focused on the confusion around us 
that that confusion is actually a habit that we have created inside of our system. So now the confusion actually exists inside of your system, not outside of you. So that's the first thing we have to realize and be aware of when you're feeling confused, that the actual confusion, the reason, the root reason for the confusion is something within you. And once you work on that and make progress on eliminating some of the distractions, eliminating the confusion, the source of the confusion, now when you show up into an objective reality, your world is not confused anymore. You show up from a space of love, you show up from a space of truth, you show up from a space of clarity, your world will not be confused anymore. You will know your place in this world and you're gonna be standing your ground once you get to know yourself, once you begin this journey of self-realization, once you begin this journey of loving yourself, and finding one way to love yourself every day. The confusion will totally vanish because as you love yourself, as you find these different ways of your spirit loving your mind or your body, not in a selfish way, but in a selfless way, with self-discipline, control, self-control, with truth, with honesty. You know, we're watching this episode from Silicon Valley, and one of the characters in the last season, they talk about radical candor. I thought that was a cool idea to practice that with myself, to be radically candor with myself, radically true, to be honest completely, totally, not to lie to myself, to speak my truth to myself. Once these are our foundations on which we build our life on, the world will not appear to be confused anymore. The confusion appears because we don't know our true selves and we're listening to voices outside of ourselves to tell us which direction to walk in. And when we start doing that, Again, we know people have their opinions, so there are going to be conflicting opinions, no matter where you see, no matter where you go, no matter where you research, there's always going to be something conflicting each other. And if you do that, you're not going to know where you stand. And maybe you know where you stand, but you're not firm about it. And so now you're confused. Which way do you go? Do I need a lot of protein or do I not need a lot of protein for myself? Do I get my protein from vegetables? Do I get my protein from meat? You look outside of you and all the sources, they'll tell you one thing or the other. But you have to decide for yourself and come to your own conclusions about certain things and include other factors like morality in making your decision and standing firm to yourself. That's the root cause of confusion where we don't stand firm and we're kind of just wishy-washy about some of certain beliefs. Once I stood firm on veganism, like, hey, I'm going to cut out all dairy from my life because yogurt was a big part of my life. Cheese was a big part of my life. So once I made that firm decision to remove all dairy from my life, to substitute it in different ways if possible, I never looked back since. Now I've been vegan for about nine months. And I don't even think about anything dairy. It's automatically no. Dairy, no. I always check. And even if it's a yogurt, I'm like, oh, I want to eat yogurt, but no, I don't. Because it's not even an option for me anymore. You know, back in the day, growing up, certain, certain foods I'd like to eat yogurt with. And the taste of yogurt had been so embedded in my taste bud, and it was connected with those certain foods. So now when I eat those foods, it doesn't taste the same anymore. But I have to control and discipline myself. I'm not eating yogurt anymore, so you're going to have to do without it.
or use a substitute or get accustomed to the substitute of yogurt, coconut yogurt. At that point, the confusion ceased in this debate between veganism, vegetarianism, or meatitarian, or whatever else it may be. I had made my decision that I was going to be vegan. Nothing else outside of me was going to stop me. The confusion in that area just ceased to exist anymore because I made the decision. I showed up, made the decision, and acted on it every day. So confusion is a state that exists inside of us that as we get to know ourselves in different aspects, the confusion will cease to exist in those aspects. So getting, know, getting to know yourself and where you stand, what your beliefs are, the ones that you hold firm on, but the ones that also you want to break because they are limiting you. You got to look at both sides of the coin. When you start walking this path, self-realization path, self-improvement path, the confusion, the so-called confusion that exists outside of you, which is actually just confusion that exists inside of your subjective experience, that will cease, it'll drop. And suddenly you'll, you won't be conflicted with yourself anymore. Yeah, you know, look at conflict within. You know, if, if there's a side of you that's conflict with another aspect of you, now you have two different aspects inside of you, two different identities inside of you. How can that exist? Because if we're supposed to be unified, if we're supposed to be whole, why do we have these different aspects inside of ourselves? So the very reason that we are conflicted brings about this different aspect to ourselves. Now, we're dividing ourselves. And you know, as they say, once you're divided, we can conquer you. Divide and conquer. So if you start dividing yourself and becoming confused by the contents of your consciousness and not resolving these divisions, you're constantly going to be conquered by external forces. Meaning emotions are going to take over, when a particular brand who, is, who has such a strong subconscious effect on you shows up in your periphery, shows up in your vision, even subconsciously or unconsciously, you pick up these signs and then you start acting on it in your physical reality. So, if like, for, exa so for example, in my past, if a particular Taco Bell passed by, if I was driving by it, and even if I saw it just from the periphery of my vision, at some point during that day or in the next week or the, fall, or the coming week, I would crave Taco Bell and I'd want to get it. So now Taco Bell has been affecting my emotions in a negative way to my detriment because Taco Bell ain't healthy. You know that. I know that. But when I made the firm decision to myself that, hey, I'm going to cut out all fast food and I stuck to it for so long, now it doesn't even affect me anymore. I see Taco Bell and I don't even crave it. I don't even care for it. But at some point, it had an effect on me. It had control over me such that when it showed up, I'd want it and I'd crave it. I'd start thinking about it more and more. And at some point, I'd go pick it up. Even though I was conflicted, there was a part of me that said, oh, I know I'm not gonna feel good after this meal, but it's gonna taste so good. That's the other part. Now these two parts conflicted the health and the taste, health and the taste, and that's what distracts us from the real life, from living life. We're constantly being distracted by our own senses. And being conflicted by our senses too. The senses and then what's right. Senses will tell you, oh, it's so good. Just let me get one more bite. Let's let me get one more bite. Your body's telling you, oh, you're completely full, but you have this Taco Bell burrito sitting in front of you and you just want to crave it and you just want to eat it and chomp it down, but your body's so full. It's telling you to stop. And guess what? We listen to our emotions more than we listen to our body, more than we listen to the, the righteous voice. 
And so we go ahead and eat that burrito, and then we start feeling sick a couple hours later. At that point, we say, oh, I'm never going to eat Taco Bell again. <laughs> Does that sound familiar, alcohol drinkers? Oh, hungover. Never going to drink alcohol again. But then there's always that other side of you that when it sees it, you want to pick it up and drink it. And then the other side, the next following morning, will say, oh, I'm not going to drink again. But once you make the firm decision that you're never going to drink, or you're only going to drink at certain times in social situations, on Fridays, or whatever your rules may be, according to your lifestyle. And once you make that firm decision, then that confusion ceases to exist. Now you know that once you get home from work, you're not going to be, you're not going to drink because you only are going to drink on Friday and Saturday. But then, you suddenly have this long, long day at work, and you come home exhausted on a Wednesday, hump day, and you want to get this alcohol, you want to just sit down and drink a cold one. Now what do you do? You break your own rule, and then you get conflicted with it. Because a part of you tomorrow is going to chide you. There's this voice that's going to keep nagging at you. Why did you drink? Why did you drink? See, you feel dehydrated. See, you feel your stomach aches. See, this and that and the other. It's always going to be blaming this other side of you that did something unrighteous yesterday. And then we get down on ourselves, beat ourselves up, get even more confused. Oh my God, how do I do this? I can't live in this world anymore. All it boils down to is making the decision consciously that you are going to stick to a particular schedule a particular routine, a particular thing, and discipline yourself to stick to it. You know, this can get boring, I understand, but initially as you're disciplining yourself and consciously disciplining yourself to behave a certain way, it seems unnatural. But after a while, after you repeat this process consciously over and over again, your body automatically takes over and it automatically works, it in, works its way into your day. You don't have to consciously act out. It'll just act automatically. At that point, it's not boring anymore. It's part of you. It's who you are. It's your identity. So it can't be boring. Initially, it may be. It may seem like you're forcing yourself to do something unnatural. And the process might take 7 to 14 days to get used to and 21 to 28 days to implement in your life. But this constant repetition, reminding yourself, being aware, when you are getting into this confused state and understanding why you are confused, what parts of you are conflicted in this situation. Understanding these two aspects and then resolving them so you can unify them. So when you understand these aspects, you're becoming curious, you're asking questions. Why does this side exist inside of me? What happened for this side to exist? And why does the other side, the opposite side, the conflicted side exist inside of me? What happened for this to exist? Now, how can I combine these two aspects so I unify myself in one more way? And now as we live our daily life, we're, we consistently unify ourselves into a singular entity where our spirit, mind, body are aligned to our highest purpose, whatever that may be in your life. But when your spirit, mind, body are aligned, something spectacular happens. You become so laser focused, the external world will drop, confusion drops, all your negative thoughts drop and you're focused so intensely on building and creating. And none of it, none of it outside of it matters. You're constantly looking for ways on how you can build and create your perfect, not perfect, but your world improve upon your own world. 
So living in a confusion state is something inside of you and once you bring your awareness into it and understand the different aspects that are confused. Why do they exist? Being curious about it. Just continuously ask it questions till it ceases to exist, till you unify both aspects. Because our goal is unification of ourselves. If we can unify ourselves, we can start, implement, we can start unifying with all the other energies around us. The first step is to unify ourselves. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please share with your friends. Please like it. Please comment. Let me know that you're enjoying my content or if there's something else I could do to improve, do let me know. Um, you know, if there are any questions you may have, please post a comment and I will answer them in a separate video just for you. So, you know, continue sharing, continue loving, continue with your peace and abundance in your daily lives. And I wish you an amazing day ahead with love, abundance, peace. This is Dr. Varun Gandhi checking out. Peace, guys. Love and abundance to you. We'll talk to you next time.